they understand the principles and walk in obedience. Hallelujah. So today, I'm going to speak to you shortly um, uh, <laughs> um, about the facts you should know about the presence of God. Maybe I'll give you about 12 facts you should know about the presence of God. What is the presence of God? All places are not the same. Yesterday, I gave a quote at the family life prayer time with the potters. I said, what enters you determine what exits you. Presence. Somebody say presence. Hallelujah. What enters you determine what exits you. So, if there is a spirit tormenting you, the reason the spirit is there is that something has not entered. Because where God is, Satan cannot be there. I'm already preaching, just in case you are not listening. Where God is, Satan cannot be there. So, what exits you determines what enters you, determines what exits you. I mean, I mean, the Bible says Jesus was preaching and teaching, and the presence of the Lord was there to heal. Now, <laughs> We are going to talk about the presence, but let me let me correct this one before we go there. The 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 quack is not the dark. The back is not the dog. Huh? Hmm? You hear what I said? So <laughs> his presence. Let me put it in a better way. He moves like a dove. You know, some of you has a picture in your room. And you see a dove with a light throw from heaven. And you think the Holy Ghost is a dove. He's not a dove. The Holy Spirit is not a dove. He purifies like fire, but he's not fire. He moves like a wind, but he's not a wind. He is a person. Amen. That is why I say the quack is not the dark, and the back is not the dog. So when you hear whoa, 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 it does not mean the sound is the dog. The dog itself is there. It's the dog that is producing the sound. So it's his person that produces presence. Can somebody follow me here this morning? Amen. It's going to be a teaching that you love. Hallelujah. If you mix this one, so all this about the coronavirus and don't come to church, is the devil is stopping something. Amen. Because it's only in the presence of God that your focus will be corrected. Let me go to the people here. Maybe they get it. So, so there are some people, they can never change because they can never come to their God's presence. No. They can never change. The, the difference between the marriages in the world and the marriages in the church is that it's assumed that when you start fighting with your wife, you come to his presence and you say something. What enters you determines what exits you. So the word that enters you can change your attitude. Somebody say presence. So give me attention. Give the Holy Ghost attention for the next minute. And open your spirit to receive God's word. And I pray that the word will change you. Because if the word of God doesn't change you, nothing can change you. Nothing. Anybody that cannot accept Bible solution for their problem, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time on them. No, no, no. Don't waste your time on them. If the person does not accept Bible solution, if people don't change in church, they won't change anywhere. You better get ready to clap more because you are going to clap more. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Where God is, Satan is not. Where is God? Is in heaven? Is Satan there? No. no. Where God is, Satan is not. When, so when God enters you, Satan exits you. Yeah. Now, two, 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 two things cannot have coexistence in the same place. Darkness and light. Let me put it in a better way. Cannot have coexistence in the same place. In the presence of light means that darkness must disappear. Because forever, 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 light will be the master of darkness. So both of them cannot struggle in a place at the same time. So when you see darkness, you just have to bring out light. Amen? That's what it is. When you see darkness, bring out light. Sickness is a darkness. What light must I bring out to eliminate the sickness out of my life? Poverty is a darkness. I was telling them on Friday, and I said it at the family library at time, I said that. There are two things that you deal with poverty. Africa, we have succeeded. Sometimes, the church deals with one and leaves one. There are pastors who emphasize on knowledge and leave the spiritual dimension. That is the dangers of motivational speaking. They can teach, but they can't cast a demon. So when you are under demonic oppression, they tell you it's your mind. It's not your mind. Hallelujah, it's not your mind. 
you are under the oppression of the you are not possessed but you are oppressed a Christian cannot be possessed by a demon, but a Christian can be under oppression. He can be harassed by a demon. And the only way to deal with it is to cast it out. But if you are a motivational speaker, somebody is not sleeping well, somebody is under some kind of, uh, uh, what do we call it, depression, and somebody is tormented. A lady walked to me and said that every time I sleep, a spirit came to sleep with me. Hallelujah. A spirit came to sleep with me. So watch this. The devil is not a human being. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a body. He doesn't have a body. So he expressed both darkness and light. Cannot do anything on earth without a human contact. So God cannot even come on earth without a man. The devil cannot come without a man. Whoever you submit to, whoever you submit to uses you. So the way I'm a man of God, somebody is a satanic agent. The way I'm being, God is using me. There's somebody, the devil is using. This is the reason we pray. This is the reason we engage in warfare. Because if there is a pastor, there is a fetish priest. Yeah. You are not listening to what I'm saying. If you listen, like maybe you listen. are you listening to what I'm talking about? That's what it is. So don't walk around thinking everybody loves you. Now, there are people who hate you. I've done nothing for them to hate you. There are people who hate you who passionately wish you are destroyed. It's not because of what you have done. It's because they belong to the devil. The reason they hate you is that the Bible talks about the fact that he is a thief and he's a murderer. He is a thief and there is a murderer. Murderers kill. And they don't kill because you have done anything wrong. They kill because of what you belong to. So somebody can hate you because God is blessing you. That's all. There's nothing you have done wrong. And so I don't want you to go and ask the question. I don't even know why they hate me. I have not done them anything. You don't need to do anything for them to hate you. So therefore you must take a defense and deal with them because you are what it takes to silence them don't take the presence of god for granted don't don't take it for granted i'm going to believe god that your spirit man will be open because this generation is mixing a lot of things it has become spiritually ignorant generation they are like spiritual weed smokers when they become born again you see them pray hey 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 in church but the the foundation base is not solid so they can make noise in prayer but it's not based in knowledge the greatest strategy you can have in the church is somebody who has a gift without knowledge and let me tell you this the great one of the greatest things that has affected the body of christ in africa especially specifically let me talk about ghana is people god gave gift as prophet without knowledge So you are not powerful because you are praying hayoba, hayoba. some of you speak in tongues you don't even know why you are praying okay when you come to church and you just join the prayer and you come and see and like what we do in protest we are all praying and all you see is that maybe pastor Abed or pastor martin is standing at the pulpit and hand i am hand i am and you come all you do is to join some of you come and then you also look left and right hand i am hand i am but why are we praying like this it's not the sound that brings the results it must be based on the authority and the knowledge of God's word. So when I'm speaking in tongues and you just come and join me, my tongues and your tongues will not arrive at the same destination. Because, oh my goodness. Now listen, do you know that when you don't know where you are going, you will never get there. The reason your journey is long is that you don't have a destination. There is something funny about driving, eh? eh? The fact that, for instance, if you are going to Let's say, boom, and we're in circle, and you head towards La Paz, and we're in the M1 driving, and speeding and enjoying yourself. You are lost, but everybody will think that you're on your way somewhere. So not everybody driving is on their way to their destination. The fact that a car is moving does not mean he's going to his destination. Amen. So be, be, be on the right road and going does not mean you are arriving at your destination. You must know your destination before you arrive there. If you don't know where you are going, any place goes. Go to Kokombe, go to Tudu, go to Circle. All the cars, they are going somewhere. So when you go there, you say, I'm traveling. They ask you, where are you going? Bukuma, I want to go to some place. They say, where? 
If you tell them you don't know, they will not waste time on you. Because they will know that you are the most stupid person who has ever come to the station. Because all the cars are going somewhere. You have to tell them, I'm going to Ho, or I'm going to Sugakope, I'm going to somewhere. Then they will direct you that go to the left and turn there. There is a car there, it's going to Sugakope. But if you don't know where you are going, not even God can direct you. So the reason why you are messing with your life and your destiny is that you don't know where you are going. We have to preach you the truth. Hallelujah. Now, this generation don't understand a lot of things. People don't even understand. I've seen a lot of pastors don't even understand the reason the devil brought coronavirus. They don't understand. I mean, they, they don't understand. I was in London when I want to do the invasion in Easter. A lot of pastors are still doing Zoom. They were sitting at home doing Zoom. Show me Zoom in the Bible. No, that's what I tell you that the greatest mistake you make is to try to modernize God. Don't make that mistake. The old ragged cross and the old Bible, you cannot modernize it. This Bible cannot be modernized. There's nothing you can do. The father you have TikTok, that's not me. God is going to be TikTok. No way. God is not going to change to be a Facebook. He said, forsake not the assemblies of your gathering. So if the devil is trying to stop you from gathering, gather. Because the reason you must gather is that the devil is trying to stop the gathering because he's afraid of the gathering. And the reason you must gather is that when you start gathering, he'll back off and run away with his weapon. Give the Lord a better clap of it. Let's take off from there. So gather. Now, man. No, we cannot live for Babylon to detect for us. Some of them who lives in the West and think that everything I told you about divine wisdom. I told you about the wisdom that comes from the world. And I told you the wisdom that comes from the devil. So there is a devilish wisdom. There is a divine wisdom. And there is actually wisdom. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I am not against medical science, but the Lord give us doctors that understand the authority of God's word. Luke was a physician, he was a preacher. Amen. Now watch this. You must understand the things about the God. Because if you don't understand that there is a, there is a spirit behind your sickness, eh, it will be difficult for God to heal you. Because there are sickness we are swallowing paracetamol, but it has nothing to do with paracetamol. The solution is not paracetamol. Somebody was bowed down for eight years. Can you imagine a demon locked somebody's weight for 18 years? Running everywhere. The Bible says when Jesus met him, Jesus laid hands and rebuked the spirit. And the woman straightened up. This if he will rebuke something for you to straighten up. That is why we lay hands on you. That is why you must come to the presence of God. That is why you must be delivered. The way you can't sleep is a demon. It's a harassing spirit. The way you are addicted to pornography is a spirit. I say it's a spirit. The way you want to commit suicide is a spirit. What, 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 what is your problem that you want to kill yourself? Even President Kufadu has not killed himself. With all the problems of Ghana, he is still hanging around. And I like the way he's behaving. He doesn't care because he's tired of you people. Oh yes, because if you follow this, you'll kill yourself for nothing. And he has some years. Let him enjoy it before Jesus calls him. No, I can't, I can't wake up and uh, now demonstrate. He won't talk about it. Anything, he won't talk. He's tired. There's a place you get tired. You have to be tired. And live your life. That's all. Amen. Now everybody's blaming the problem on Putin. Father, let Putin stop the war so that the economy will get better. And it doesn't look like Putin is stopping now. Mm -hmm. Anytime you are failing, you have something to blame it on. That's what it is. If Putin stops the war now, the economy will still not be better. Hello? Are you listening to what I'm talking about? Or you, are, or you, are, or you have gone home? So there is something you are dealing with. That is why we want you to come to the presence of God. With the court. You cannot deliver anybody who doesn't want deliverance. This is it. Somebody came to me and said that. Hmm, I am addicted to pornography. I want you to pray for me. I heard you preach. And I know that it's wrong. But sometimes I enjoy it. So I say, go back. He said, well, I say, because God doesn't deliver you from your friends. He delivers you from your enemy. So make pornography your enemy before you can be delivered. Amen. It's a very simple thing. So you must hate what you do you don't like before Jesus can come and help you.
It's getting quiet. You don't take tablets for to deal with depression. Depression is not in your body. It's a spirit. You don't take tablets. You don't take tablets to deal with mental problems. It just, the tablets just makes you behave well. It deals something with your, your nerves to behave well. It does not mean the spirit is gone. So come to church. With a willingness to be delivered. Amen. Somebody heard me preach at the, uh, give a word of knowledge at the, at the family life prayer time that every woman that is in the room and you know your husband's potency is gone go back and lay hands on your husband and the woman rushed and went to lay hands on the husband and God responded from heaven instantly as of you were there as of you were there yes instant he said he lay hands and the man called for a match because after you are trained you must face the olympics yeah and the lady wrote that what happened there only heaven it can tell yeah 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 nobody was there oh are you there he said heaven and when somebody say heaven can tell it means that it's a very serious matter what kind of football match are heaven is a spectator it's a very serious match it's a very serious one yeah but the important thing is that he lay hands he obeyed the prophetic word huh number one you must believe the prophet you must believe in the vessel god is using you must obey the vessel you must act on whatever the vessel said this is your manifestation come give the lord a clap of it now this man also for will be swallowing tablets nothing will happen that spirit of impotence is a spirit it's a demon it's a demon he just wants to the devil start the devil doesn't attack fruit he attack root if i can make a man impotent and the wife is not prayer he can even commit adultery so satan set the course and he has an agenda at the end wow i'm preaching they are not listening but i'm preaching father bless your people on sunday morning i have asked them to stand they stood a little bit reward them for standing in jesus name i may be seated it's a prayer point oh yeah it's a prayer point hallelujah <laughs> tell somebody god is not a presence he's a person with a presence are you with me or you've gone home god is not a presence he's a person with a presence so the quack is a sign that the, the duck is there the woe is a sign that the dog is there so the presence is a sign that god is there if you don't sense the presence then he is not in the place we are talking about what the presence of god can do it is what can guarantee your favor can i teach you a little bit huh so his presence is the evidence of his person so you come to get somebody say i feel the presence of god means that god is there somebody say i sense the presence of god his presence is the evidence of his person now listen to me may you generate a presence in your home Amen. find a way because i'm going to teach you the thing that generates his presence for instance one of the things that generates his presence is singing it's music and not just in ordinary music there are music you play it drives god's presence away there are music you play it invites his presence i'm preaching you you are not listening but i'm preaching so be careful some of you are eh, your canality is creating a problem for you what kind of music do you play what kind of music do you play i heard the man of god said something about 15 18 years ago and i pick it and the man was a very powerful man of god and he said that i made sure that he said if you don't control your atmosphere satan will control it so take charge of your atmosphere and he said that in his house he has speakers all over the house that sometimes music play 24 hours worship so don't mourn 24 hours uh, uh snaps 24 hours every uh, slaughter 24 hours uh, and he said sometimes you could see that even animal he said his dogs are calm they'll just go and lie down because the presence you create determines how you behave wow. now if you put a rastafarian here and you start playing bob marley song he will like ganja one of the things bob marley promoted is we smoking 
She tried. Yeah. She tried. Amen. That's what it is. And I copied that thing. And sometimes she said, I pray the audio Bible in my house. Can you imagine Bible is praying in your house the whole day? From Genesis to Revelation, somebody is reading the Bible. Do you know the extent of what the word of God is coming? Some of you don't have any atmosphere. Your atmosphere does not invite God present. No wonder children shout in the night. What enters you determines what exits you. So if the presence of God zooms in a place, some things you cannot stay there. If the presence of God comes to a place, some things will not stay there. Now, listen to this one. Look at it. What enters you determines what exits you. When the presence of God departed from King Saul, an evil spirit took over. And for that presence, for the evil spirit not to operate, David must play the guitar. That means that the demons in Saul heard the guitar, the sound of the guitar, and they become impotent. Listen to Porter's FM. You will hear music played. It doesn't make too much noise. One of the reasons why we raise this FM station is that you are listening to FM station and then there is advert on Kobe, there is an advert on Mamoni, there is an advert on this one. This one, do you know that you can put Porter's FM on for 24? When you are sleeping, you can leave it on. Because listen, eh? one day, eh? I don't know, I went to I went somewhere. I, I was no. I was with a pastor in a place, and the pastor was watching. We were in a hotel, and the pastor was watching um, because I have to preach. And he said, uh, "Papa, the the fridge in your hotel room is very small. So some of your drinks I've kept it in my room, next room, and so I'll give you one of my key. The hotel use a car. When you come and maybe I'm asleep, just open because I know that you are talking, and then you can pick it and just bang the door. When I went, I realized that you was asleep." But CNN was still speaking. And these media people, they only show the dead. This one has died here. This accident is here. And I don't want to say, I wake up and say, man of God, don't sleep and generate demons in your room. Because what you have left asleep will invite some things. If you can watch Ben Hill on the video and the TV and receive healing, then you can watch a media and pick a demon. Can I say that again? If you can watch a healing evangelist, most people get a miracle because we were preaching on Facebook. They were sitting in America, they watched it. The literal anointing leaped through the television and touched them. It means that if you leave an international media, Al Jazeera or something, they are showing how people are dead in Afghanistan. The dead will enter your room. What enters you determines what exits you. So you can, you can open the door for the enemy. But if you put something like Potter's FM, you will hear only gospel. Since we started the FM station, we have never played any music outside gospel. If it is not gospel, it cannot be played. If the gospel stop, you will hear me preaching the word. Now, listen to this. There is a man here, one of my sons here. He said his son, nine, 12 years, cannot sleep. She went to school suddenly. He started screaming when he sleeping. me. And then the boy said, that, Daddy, I know what to do. And he said, What? Well, he said, Put Daddy, put Daddy in another tape. Get me a TV and put his tape and let it play whilst I'm sleeping. And the moment my tape started preaching, pray, he slept. And then as they leave the tape on, for some reason, the thing has stopped. <laughs> Nobody said, Come on. Train a child the way you should go. When you grow, you will not depart from it. The word of God comes here and the demon. Now listen, sometimes eh, you don't only cast demons from people. You cast demons from a place. That is why I gave you the blood that sprinkling the blood in your territory. Sprinkling the blood in your atmosphere. The blood of sprinkling is coming with a lot of testimonies. Hallelujah. A lot of people are sprinkling the blood. Things are happening. Some things are generating in their home. You must understand. It's not something somebody is trying to tell you. Oh, this is not. You see, your rebellion will let you think it's not necessary. But it is necessary. That is so releases your faith. If you have not done this, it's because of dishonor, disrespect. And you don't respect the direction of God's servant. No, 
you can be very close to me and you have not done it. Some of you have not done it. You don't see the necessity of it. It's not necessary. Next time when something hits your home, you can't blame God. No, God said, kill the lamb and put it. It was December. And it doesn't matter how you have painted your house. Paint the blood at your lintel. You, it has never happened. What God said has never happened. He said, an angel of death will pass the lamb. And somebody sitting there, and then they go to some media to go and discuss. We have heard one prophet say, angel of death. Who is an angel of death? And then one panelist say, I don't believe in all this nonsense. This prophet that has come. They just do all kinds of things. Because of one miracle he performed with his rod, he thinks that he can manipulate everybody. What is an angel of death? I cannot just paint blood on my door. No, for instance, number one, blood is dirty, blood smells, and I just painted my house white. I should go and, paint. and you are part of the panel. And you are part of the listeners. I don't want to mention the radio station. You are there. You are standing coming. And one canal pastor is sitting there. Talking. I saw a pastor. Huh, on, on one of the. One of the. Uh, popular journalists. Uh, and they were discussing about somebody praying with people at midnight. And the pastor is saying that it's not from God. A pastor. And he said tongues is not from God. And the other pastor was trying to quote the scripture. So somebody can be a pastor and he doesn't believe the words. That's right, that's right. Because if you tell me I'm speaking in tongues, eh, the validation of what I'm speaking is in the word. You don't need me to listen to what I'm saying. Go to the word and find it. Huh? They go to the word. And the pastor was trying to say that it was prophesied, it was prophesied by Joel. That in the last day, I will pull out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will see vision. Your old man will... Oh, Jesus Christ. And Peter said, this is what was prophesied by Joel. But there are people who don't believe it. And there are people who follow those who don't believe the way. Do you know if the armed robbers have followers? So you can decide who you want to follow. Now listen, the fact that you wake up and you go to a place called church Sunday, that's not me you are growing. It's not every church you go and you grow. They are quiet on me because they, what, what they don't like is when you start hitting the things they do. And uh, the fact that you go, no, 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 no. Now you have to get it straight. You have to get it straight. Some of the, some of the stuff we feed you here, you can't get it anywhere. Yeah. No, because we pay price for it. Yeah. No. No. Some of the stuff we feed you, you can't get it anywhere. No, for instance, listen. If you are kana, if you are kana per se, you are not ready to work with Jesus, you can't enjoy our ministry. No. You can't enjoy. Sometimes people come here, you see that you don't find them again. Because when you come here, there are some things you must stop. Yes. According to the Bible standard, you can't stay in this ministry and have a wife and a girlfriend. The word will come after you every Sunday. And today I'm going to come after you. Hey. Hey. Yes. You will be uncomfortable because I want you to go to heaven. One day, heaven and earth will pass away. All the things that is making you chase things and money, one day it will not be there. I have seen wealthy people died and they buried them in six feet. My uncle, who was an ambassador and former GP during Buzia's time, have a friend, Mr. Pinty. We were playing golf together, Pambros, intravenous. He, he, was, he was the owner of, of Kofodia, uh, uh, is it intravenous they call it here? Yeah. And then uh, this short company in Pambros, yes. Well, I remember those days, baby Benz was small. I started playing golf when I was eight years old. And I was a caddy for my uncle and I was playing the golf. I remember one day I hit the golf and went to spoil somebody's uh, thing. And the person came to charge my uncle and my uncle paid. Because he bought the golf for me. So he paid. Yeah. But I saw the man wet him in those days. I'm talking about the 80s. She was one of the richest men in Ghana. He died. They buried him in his house. I was standing there, young boy. And I said, wow. With all this money, he's gone. You brought nothing to this world. You take nothing away. It doesn't stop you from getting material things and being blessed. But if material things separate you from God, you are the most stupid person ever. You used to be in God, you get money and you departed from God. For what? For what? So when you come to a place like this, we will tell you the truth. When you come here, we will preach that. Stay with your wife alone. When we come here, we will be that don't be tempted by the guests in your office. Cut them off from your life. Declare your stand them you are not into this if they are slave queens you are a master man standing tell them you are not a candidate for slaying 
I am not your, I am not your, I am not your candidate. No, I'm not your candidate. I'm not walking around with the mindset of looking a girlfriend. I am not walking with the mindset of looking for a girl to sleep with. I'm not walking. What enters you determine what exits you. The word of God has entered me. Some foolish things has exited my mind. If you are not clapping, you are suspect. It's a bottom line. So we are not just walking. We are walking with David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. No, I want to enjoy God's presence. Huh? It takes holiness to enjoy God's presence. Not everybody enjoys worship. The reason you don't enjoy worship is because of what is in you. The reason you don't love to pray is because of what is in you. God is not looking for anybody. Everybody must pursue God. The presence of God must be pursued. Is it pursue or pursue? Now, are you getting what I'm talking about? I say, is it pursue or pursue? The presence of God must be pursued. He said, draw near unto me and I will draw near. So God is not coming to look for you. You look for him. They that seek me, they will find me. So don't come to church as if you are doing somebody a favor. No. You can have a big, the biggest company in Ghana. You can be the richest man in Portes. You can be the richest woman in Ghana. You can live the most sophisticated house. You can be so blessed. But none of them prepares you for heaven. The only place that prepares you for heaven is where you are sitting. At the end of the day, listen. When you are taking your last breath. Because one day you take a last breath. All the breathing you are breathing. One day, let's pray that it will be at the age of 100. Who? is gone when you close your eyes and let me tell you something for those who don't have wisdom thinking that when you die you have died life does not end after death life continues after death can i say that again life does not end after death life continues after death the spirit realm is more rare than the natural realm look at jesus picture of that one he said there was a rich man who was fed some, uh, I mean, I mean, sophisticatedly. And the Bible said, she died and she was in hell. There is a poor man called Lazarus who sometimes go to the front gate of the rich man and does lick Lazarus' soul. But Lazarus go to church and he know Christ. Jesus gave us a picture, a parable of the way the supernatural look like. And he said, when Lazarus died, she went to Abraham's bosom. Who is this Abraham? In you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This is a man God established a covenant to trap Jesus Christ from his descendants. Wow. And the Bible said, whilst the rich man died and was in hell, Lazarus knew the rich man. The rich man knew Lazarus. But both Lazarus and the rich man doesn't know Abraham. It was a period of 5,000 years from when Abraham died to the time the rich man died. But in the spiritual realm, they recognize each other. So when you go to heaven and you meet Father Abraham, you can tell this is Father Abraham. Nobody must introduce him to you. No, 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 no. Where was, where, where, where was Peter? Where was John? Where was James? When Moses died. Thousands of years from the time God told Moses go to the mountain and die. Thousands of years when God said, cross the Jordan and chariot of fire took Elijah to heaven. But on the mountain of transfiguration, Moses appeared from the supernatural. Elijah appeared from the supernatural and Peter recognized him. Peter said, Master, let us build three tabernacles. One for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. We will stay in the sun, but you guys have to have a shelter. So they saw supernatural beings. People who live in the natural, who have died and go to the supernatural realm. They came to the natural and the guys who were not there, Thousands of years saw them and recognized them. There was no like Peter has seen Moses' picture before because nobody has a camera at that time. Yeah. Nobody has a photograph. Nobody could draw Abraham. But in the spirit realm, eh, you can see people and say, This one is Stephen. This one is Adam. This one is Abraham. This one is this person. So life does not end after death. Life continues after death. The decision you make on that determines which side you go. Yeah. So the deception about all it is about money. So the presence of God is very crucial. All those who are committing suicide, who are under pressure, who are complaining about economy, they don't carry the presence. 
God is not moved by farming. God is not moved by economic situation. He has seen it in the history of the world. He saw one in Abraham's time. He saw one in who? Isaac's time. Oh, by, Je- by, by, by the time he came to Jacob's time, he even gave a dream to a hidden king and sent one of his children under covenant to preserve the situation. So Joseph gave interpretation of what is going to happen ahead and gave the solution how to handle it. And God did that because of his children. So you are not supposed to sit here and be complaining about the economic situation. It's not going down. Changing government does not change the economy. Keeping government will not change the economy. So take your mind from whoever becomes a, a, a president. No. 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 Take your mind from that and set your mind on go. And walk in the principle of what I'm telling you. <laughs> I know you won't cry, but it's a good place. Unless maybe you have a cat inside. If you are going to be a politician, then you can go there. But those of you who are not politicians, set your eyes on God. Am I teaching? Hmm? Until we get leaders in Africa, who will think about development and not think about their pocket? Our situation will not change. It is not Africa alone that steals. The white also steals. And if the white man steals, by the time he steals one million, he has used one million to do development. We steal everything. Can you imagine that we have a government? One government, all he does is to do roads. Make a law that no estate developer can come to a place. Now, I bought a car. Somebody blessed me with a car. I used the car for less than maybe two years. And I ordered for shocks of observers. When I sent it, they were, they were like, where do you live? <laughs> because the people there don't understand why two years. Because And, and they say, we, we have to produce it because it's not even a part we keep. Because we don't expect your car to have a shock problem. I always tell them that come to tour in Ghana. And come and walk in our rooms. Yes. <laughs> I was driving the car just at the pole, very ahead. There is a, I think it happened to Master Martin today. There's a portals on the curve at the SF blocks. Later, I asked them to go and fill it. My car landed inside, bah, and the rim twists. Because I was speeding, I couldn't see. So we have a portals that can twist a rim. <laughs> now, but you go to some countries, you don't see it. When we were going to the prison, eh, I have not passed through the Salem Road for years. I was shocked. I said, this is the road that leads to the, the second biggest city in, in Ghana. From Accra, Kumasi. Literally. Can't we get a cup? Can I tell you this? If this lady works in a bank, if this lady is a doctor, if this lady is a nurse, and they are going to hospital, and also for, they stay in traffic for two hours. Eh? Number one, souls are dying. So it affects productivity. By the time they get it, they are stressful and tired. That is why the nurses give you wrong injection. They are tired. They are tired. It's very simple. This is not something. No, it, it's, it's straightforward. You can tell. It's just there. No, it's there. That's what it is. Hallelujah. They do it. We don't have planning. No planning. No, you go to abroad. Someone, if you go to London, Britain, they have 50 years plan. They're already developing the 50 years time. People will be like this. Population will go like this. They are studying the system. Wow. I was in America. They put some rope and people were passing. The police was there. They say they are counting the number of cars that pass there within a certain time to determine whether to expand the rule. So they are already picking. The population is increasing. Don't tell me I should talk like that. Now, I, I can talk because there is no portals in portals. We are building it. This one is not taxi. This is offering. It's there. It's nice. It means that if you come here, you don't see uh, uh, flat and gutters are choking, then we should be able to do it. No. No, we should be able to. Nobody should stand there and tell people that we are advising. We don't advise. When you go to America, they don't advise. They punish. You can't advise people. Nobody is coming to tell you that. No American minister will come and say that. Slow down. I'm advising all motorists. No. The police is on the road. When they catch you, what they will do to you? 
they would do it such a way that next time this lady lives in London, tell him when the police arrest you for speed. One day, one day, when you go to a, a Fort Johnson, there is a yellow sign they put there. It means I don't stay there. If the traffic is going, and this is the square of the traffic light, eh, you just have to make sure that you don't step into that line. Stay here until you wait for the other car to go. My, the man driving me came there, and the and the, the car didn't move fast. And they took when they brought the the bill. Eh, me and him were sitting in front. The thing took us a camera. I was very sad that they have taken my face a camera. And they put the bill on it, 200 pounds. And they wrote it. Pay it in the next three days. Or in interest is written. So the moment three days you don't pay, the interest start reading. They say, okay, if I don't pay, what happened? They come and take your car. They calculate the interest is 1,000 pounds. They sell the car. They, they, all they want is 1,000 pounds. So if everyone want the car for 2,000 to just buy it we take her and then they send you your 2200 yeah. it's simple i say it's very simple when you go and tell you witchcraft will get angry and you say wait 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 what is it wah, wah, wah. that's what it is so can't we get one that will say all the rules in ghana i'm doing it all the rules i'm doing it just to let people move around You were part of it, you. you. This guy was part of the people who built the Jubilee house. He was part of the architect, this guy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Couldn't they have come to build the Jubilee house in Sogakope? Yes. Or build it in Pram Pram or Chopoli? So that once the government is staying here, the whole city moves here. Then we stop the choke. Now, hear this. If Porter City didn't come here, this place is still a bush. Yes, Seven years ago, we came here. Everybody is moving around. If a church can move to a place and change the history, what about if the government moves? This is simple. Let them come to church and learn. Wisdom is now. Listen, listen. The Bible is a factory for wisdom. The Christians who are listening, those who are not politicians, they are listening. I said the Bible is a factory for wisdom. That is where wisdom is produced from. So come to church and learn. Very simple. Some of you do know that if you didn't come to church, you are making all kinds of stupid decisions. Yeah, yeah. If you're not church, you have divorced your wife. If you're not church, you have a girlfriend. Some of you, even church has helped you to stop working with some friends. Because by basis of the knowledge of God, we so realize that these people cannot be the people that can work. With. Are you getting it? Ah, huh. hear this. <laughs> your association can increase or decrease your wisdom. Can I say that again? The people you associate with can increase or decrease. Or how do I say that? I'm glad you asked. He that works with the wise shall be wise. A company of fools shall be destroyed. So who you work with can increase or decrease your wisdom. The people you associate with. No. If your husband become my friend, you'll be comfortable. But if your husband become a friend of a man, that guest can take his picture and say, lift your leg, roast your leg, you are in trouble. Yeah. No, the guests that are come, they are very dangerous. Yeah. They, are very, they can wear white, white and sing, but they are very dangerous. I'm not mentioning anybody. Everybody can wear white. Everybody is wearing white. Okay, I'm singing. Do let me for so you know, I'm still wearing white, white. What about that? Yeah, they are dangerous. Today they video you. There are men. They have videos with some girls. Yeah. On the appointed day, they will show it. Can I plead on your behalf? Please, I'm begging you, delete the video. Yeah, they just told me that they would delete it. Yeah. If you are living a holy life, you are sound. Yes. Very sound. Yes. You are very sound. Yes. You are very free. Yes. The wicked flee when no man pursue, but the righteous is as bold as a lion. Yeah, it will give you soundness. You get it in the presence of God. Presence of God. You come to church, we are preaching, you are tense. You are uncomfortable. You want the service to finish, to end very quick. Because you, you, you don't want to repent. 
Nobody can let you feel bad like God. And let me tell you this. If God loves you, be careful the way you are misbehaving. She will punish you and put you in the belly of a wheel, bring you back, teach you a lesson, and you go back and learn. You either take God soft or hard. Choose one. You are not listening, but I'm preaching. Hallelujah. No, not everybody. No, there are people you bring here, they can come for prophecy and everything, but when they come, the message we preach. So when you see people sitting in this church and other churches are preached and we preach, they are ready to serve God. Yeah. If you are not ready to serve God, you can't say because when we preach, it comes like hammer. hammer. One day, Reverend Yeshua told me something. He said, when you are preaching the holiness thing, even me as an apostle, I was thinking, hey, let me check myself. Say, Nana, I don't know whether it's a prophetic or not. It, it, you could see the thing is hitting. It's very strong. Now, if you can hit apostle, what about a sinner? Hey. 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 Think about yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the truth. No. And Jesus didn't compromise. You live your life and live at peace. Live. Live, live, live. You are not sound. You are not at peace. Your lust is destroying you. Mm. You, are not, you are not sound. Don't, don't deceive yourself to think that when you are living in sin, you are fine. It cannot. The wages of sin is death. Sin has wages. Yeah. I say sin has wages. You, you are not going free. No. You have invited demons into your house by your adulterous life. Soundness. God is against you because the last you are chasing with another girl, you have one at home. Mm. This is the way God judges things. There's a clapping coming from the back there. There's a Christian at the back there. God bless that person. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for you to clap well, then I'll continue. Mm. <laughs> ah. When you go to a restaurant, it's different from when you come to Sunday service. Huh? The atmosphere you find yourself determines the presence and how your feeling goes. When I say Saddam will say, the feeling different from when I say Jesus. What we hear determines how you feel. Am I preaching? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whether you are quiet or not, I will preach. I want to be near that on their way to heaven. You, huh? I watched the Queen of England. He was holding a walking stick. And I was telling mommy, I said, this is the longest living monarch since God created the world. From Adam to today, nobody has room more than that woman. Seventy years plus, and I say this woman, she must do everything to go to heaven. Yeah. You can't rule like this and find your way in hell. Think about it. longer seventy years plus. He was twenty something. He gave independence to over hundred and forty something countries, including Ghana, India. Name them. He stood the ceremonial celebrated queen in, in Australia and Canada. Ceremonially. 70 years plus. Can you imagine after all this accolade and celebration, you close your eyes and you don't find Jesus? What is the use of becoming popular in earth and heaven doesn't know you? <laughs> what is the benefit of becoming popular on earth and heaven doesn't know you? No. Take what I'm preaching to you, serious. And I told my man, I say, this woman, I love her so much. Very elegant. Even his old age, he looked very elegant, attractive, classy. Wow. Or dressy, I know dressy, I put skeleton, like, or dressy, what is a mommy address? Every day, mommy, a baba, what? Or the finimo Francis, how they need. No issues about her. No, 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 no allegation, nothing. 70 years plus as a queen wow she doesn't greet with bare hands she greets wearing gloves on someone yet what i'm saying is it not true 
And I was somewhere, I was something they did to German over there. Probably is the richest woman in the world. Richest woman. She can't find your shit. But when he takes his last breath, where is he going? Also, I did. Some of you, all your life is you are thinking. Listen, we are not denying from making money. We need the money to preach the gospel. We need the money. Yeah. If I have millionaires here, I'm trying to raise money to buy crusade tracks. I was talking to Reverend Simmons on the phone, trying to guide me in what to do with my uh, village evangelism. I'm going to start. A new. One day, one hour, we were talking on the phone. Huh? But if I have, if I have, one of my son bought me one track. If I have millionaires here, uh, uh, they are millionaires from three more. They are millionaires from three more. Five people have bought me the track. I need seven of the track. I'm gone. So I need you to get the money. But I don't want you to prosper and go to hell. It's of no use. I don't want you to do that. No. It's, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can decide to live with that crap, but don't die without Christ. And it's better to leave you with Christ gives you soundness. <laughs> Yesterday God taught me something midnight. I was meditating and I realized that sometimes the disciples ask Jesus where he is going and he doesn't mind them. Yeah. I'll come back and show you those scriptures. Sometimes they want to find out something he is want to do and he doesn't mind them. So I asked him, I said, why is it that sometimes you don't answer them? Because he said, they don't need you to ask me those questions because I've told them, follow me. Yeah. 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 If I say follow me, then don't ask me questions where we are going. All you have to do is to do what? Follow. What did they tell Peter? Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Matthew, leave your things and follow me. Follow me. He didn't say, let's go together. He said, follow. It means that where I stop, stop. Where I sleep, sleep. When you see me, relax, relax. When I move, then you follow. The fact that you are sitting here with a nice red that's me you are following Jesus. If you follow Jesus, you won't do what you are doing. Those of us who are determined to pursue him, we are following him. And once you follow him closely, you learn his footsteps. He didn't say, go ahead of me. He didn't say, be by my side. He didn't say, go and when you crash, you come and ask me what to do. He said, you follow me. Oh, send somebody above him. That's it. Hmm? So Gina, come. If this girl decided to follow Jesus and he come to the place that you want a husband, this is Jesus. All he has to do is to follow. 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 If you come here, this man say, I love you. Jesus, and Jesus doesn't stay there. Follow. Just move. It means that that's not the right thing for you. The reason you make a mistake is that there is a place that you 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 overtook Jesus. You are fishers of fish, but follow me and I will make you fishers of man. So you cannot become anything outside God. He has to make you. He's the one who can make you a good husband. He's the one who can make you a good wife. He's the one who can make you a good steward. He's the one who can make you a good businessman. But he only make those who follow. No negotiations about it. Follow me. In the office, are you following Jesus Christ? No. Why do you respect your time in the office than his presence? Why do you go to church early and come to... How do you go to office early and come to church late? No. God is a God of knowledge, by him actions are weighed. No. If you start to respect him, God respect everything about his presence. No. Why should I go to airport to fly a plane that it will take God to sustain it in the air? And I am there one hour before takeoff. And I come to church 10 minutes to close it. 
And God is a God of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. I'll send some more about him. So I've said it before, and I'll repeat it again. In the presence of God, your focus is corrected. There is a young man, since I'm preaching, Pastor Albert, he has been walking around. I don't know what he's doing there. He's just there with a bushy hair. Go and find him and get him a seat to sit down. Yes, Eloy, do that. Find him. He's just walking, 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 go about and coming and go about. Find out if they need to cast something, let's cast it out. So that you'll be fine. Yeah. I see him just walking and walking and walking and walking and walking. Amen. Huh? So, write it down. In the presence of God, I've given you before, I'm preaching an old message. Your focus is corrected. Amen. Your focus is what? Huh. That was what David said. So, if you don't come to the presence of God, some things you will learn it and it will not help you. Psalm 73, verse 3. Wow. In the presence of God, your focus is corrected. I mean, to Jesus. Is it okay? Uh, but I will find out the situation and make sure that the guy is okay. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Wow. Keep going. <laughs> For there are no bands in their death uh, and their strength is fair. When you go down, they'll find me the place when he say, until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord. Until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord. Until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord. And I saw their end. Until I went to the sanctuary. So from verse number 3 up to verse number 17. From verse number 3, David became envious. Of the prosperity of the wicked there are people in church who are envious of the prosperity of the wicked they are envious about how the wicked has prospered until she went to the sanctuary until he came to church so in the presence of god your focus is corrected so it is only in church that you come and you know be envious of people who has money but they don't have christ mm-hmm. am i giving you points now that is why you get in the presence of God. Your focus will be corrected. Your focus will be. Every failure is connected to a broken focus. If you fail somewhere, you were distracted. If you fail somewhere, you were distracted. A young girl that is serving the Lord, coming to church, and that I was walking with mommy, and I was driving, and I saw a querester, a former querester, and I stopped. Mommy is there. God is my witness. Yeah, am I telling lies? I stopped and I say, hey. We don't see you in church again. What did we did wrong? When I saw his posture, I saw that Christ has walked out. Yeah. You, the way you are looking glorious and anointed, when you step out and Christ walk out, it will show in your face. I saw for ask mommy. Yeah. If I have his picture, I could have put it on the screen so that you see it. Yeah. A chorister, a former chorister. I saw her by the roadside. I saw her sketch it was very short. Oh yeah. I saw, I stopped. I parked the car and I said, "Hey." And I said, "Hey, and I roll my glass and I said, "Come." And then he was walking, you could see that he was walking John Joe. Do you see that? No. He was not. And I could see that something has gone wrong. Something has, what will take you out of the house of God? And then I will be free now with you. Show me. No. In the presence of God your focus will be correct. If I don't see you singing again, some boy has cornered you somewhere and he has messed with your anointing. And because of the way we preach here, you feel bad coming back. It takes determination for a prodigal son to come back home. In the presence of God. Some of you go, 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 and you go and crash somewhere and you say, Had I know it's too late. It's too late. You, I mean, following Christ will not disgrace you. Following Christ will not bring you to the place of shame. Never. Nobody follow Jesus and regret. Now listen, it can be slow but it's sure. Where you are going, the blessing can be slow but it's sure. And sometimes it's better to be slow and sure than to be fast and fall. I'm already preaching. In the presence of God, your focus will be corrected. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Ah. Amen. 
Apostle Paul says something when he was writing the letter uh, to, his, uh, to his son Timothy. First, second Timothy chapter 1 verse 14. <laughs> hmm. The spirit of the Lord will give you the tenacity to survive. Huh? Tenacity, strength, and determination. Yesterday I was talking about passion and habit. Do you remember the short education? I said that your habit is more important than your passion. Hmm? When everything around you fades, it's habit that causes you to survive. So I may lose the passion for preaching, but if I maintain my prayer life, whatever the devil is attacking me, Satan will back off. Jesus has a custom. He the, look at Jesus. The Bible says, as his custom is, she went to the temple and it was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. So watch this guy. Jesus Christ has a custom, a lifestyle, a habit of going to the church to read the Bible. Now listen, you should be able to be the kind of Christian that from Genesis to from January to December, you have never absent yourself in church on every Sunday. Wow. What a blessing. Yes. It has become a habit. Lord, I can't go to work from Monday to Friday and mix your presence on Sunday. Yeah. Where do I draw strength from? In the presence of the Lord, your focus will be corrected. So people have come to church. They were men, stubborn men, adulterous men, but the word of God has corrected their focus. They were rebellious wives, but the word of God has corrected their focus. Is somebody understanding what I'm talking about? Huh? That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep it, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwelled in you. The good thing. So the good messages we preach, keep, keep by the Holy Ghost which dwell in you. What is the Holy Spirit? It's the presence. You can tell. Now listen, you will take, you can take the peace you have for granted until you compromise it. And then you look back and say, ah, this is not the way I used to live. This is not the way. When you start having, getting pregnant and committing abortions and go and come, you wish you were still singing. In fact, can I tell you, there are some people eh, probably they are watching you online. When they see you singing, they wish they are still singing. Yeah, that's right. They wish they are still singing. When you were in the body house, and you were in Lego, and you were in voter home, there were young girls that sugar daddies came to pick them. At the end of school, they have become miserable. You, God has kept you, you have married, you are working. When they look at you, they borrow cars to work in town. The, the cars that they gave it to them, and the guy sleep, then they gave it them to you for one week. After that, they have to bring it. Yeah. And they wish they are like you. The soundness. The soundness. Can I tell you, when I go to bed, I sleep. When I lie down, I sleep. I sleep. I'm a very sound man. No. Things that trouble people don't trouble me. Even if you trouble me, it cannot be trouble. I cannot be trouble. The presence of God on my life is too strong. No, 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 no. 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 In the presence of God, your focus will be corrected. Your focus will be corrected. You will, your thinking will change. The, the, the presence and the word of God will extract your stinking thinking and replace it with good mindset. Jesus is Lord for everybody that is clapping for me. Wow. <laughs> ah. Right, this one that is quite a lot. The presence of God enables you to see the end result of your present decision to serve God. The presence of God enables you to see the end result of your present decision to serve God. <laughs> mm. Can I repeat it again? Okay, the presence of God enables you to see the end result of your present decision to serve God. Advanced knowledge. From hand side to inside. From inside to foresight. From foresight to oversight. So they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount out its wings uh, as eagles. Somebody say eagles. Now, do you know there are two animals God uses in the Bible very strongly? The eagle is the king of the bird kingdom. The lion is the king of the animal kingdom. God used both of them. Jesus is called the lion of the tribe of Judah and the eagle. Now, the reason why God said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength is that the eagle can fly the highest altitude. And the higher you go, the further you can see. The further you can see. So, if you go up, big objects become small. Once you fly in an aircraft, story buildings become small. If, if your problem is bigger, it shows where you are standing. You just have to lift yourself above the problem. It will become very small. The Bible said, huh, 
they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. In the presence of God, uh, or the presence enables you to see the end result. So the only time people see the end result of their life is when they are in the presence of God. For instance, in the presence of God, you can get a prophecy. And the prophecy can tell you that even though you are struggling today, tomorrow it shall be well with you. Yeah. It means that the present generates an atmosphere and power that lets you eat to see the end result. Am I teaching? Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? Presence. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4. Huh. There are two laws of God operating. Huh. The satanic law where Satan offers you the fun of things. Huh. He said that if you get the whole word then you lose your soul. Hmm? Look at this law. Behold, all souls are mine. As the souls of the Father, also the souls of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth is shall what? Die. This is a law. The presence of God helps you to see the end result of where you are going. All souls are mine. The souls of the Father and the souls of the Son. All souls are for God. Hallelujah. And the soul that sinneth is shall die. So listen to me. Sometimes, eh, sometimes, eh, we can preach about generational cares, but there's something we call self-imposed cares. Mm -hmm. This curse you're operating is not generational. There is something you are doing that you must stop doing. And when you stop, because there's no curse without a cause. Every curse has a cause. A curse cannot come unless it has a reason. Every curse, there is a door that opens for the curse to enter. Am I teaching? So listen to me very carefully. Huh? Forget about what your ancestors did. What are you doing now? Good question that I wish I can get the answer later on. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Amen. The way of transgressors is hard. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 50. The way of transgressors is hard. The way of transgressors is hard. Behold, Proverbs chapter 13 verse 15. And go, good understanding giveth favor. Wow. But the way of transgressors is what? Hard. Good understanding. Give me the New Living Translation. Who is a transgressor? Who is a transgressor? A person with a good sense is respected. A treacherous person is headed for destruction. A treacherous person is headed for what? Destruction. The way of transgressors is what? Is hard. <laughs> that is why in the presence of God, sickness and disease can be defeated by the way faith enters your heart. So when you come here, that's why I told you that the Bible is a, is, 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 is a factory for wisdom. It's also the factory for faith. So faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. I told you, those of you who are the family, like I said that if you don't have faith, you can't blame God because God has shown you how to get it. Yeah. Yeah. If faith is absent, he can come. And the Bible said the only way for faith to come is to hear the word. So faith comes by hearing and hearing God's word. The way you are looking at me, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So, if you don't have faith, there's a way faith can come. And it comes by hearing. So, if you are not having faith, then it shows the way you are not listening to God's way. I'm waiting for those who are not clapping to join you, then I'll continue. Hallelujah. Right, number three. The presence of God is critical for your spiritual life. You have a natural life, you have a spiritual life. The presence of God is critical to your spiritual life. Ah. Mm? It's critical. Huh? Now, do you know there's a price for God's presence? Write it very fast and look at me. <laughs> what is the price for God's presence? If you want to experience his presence, if you want to encounter him, the price for his presence is time. So if God cannot make time for anybody who will not make time for God. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew. What did they do? They spent time with God and God visited them. The price for his presence is the investment of time. The price for his presence is the investment of your time. Don't go to work early and come to church late. God knows that you don't respect his presence. No. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There are some Pentecostal churches. Eh? They honor God's presence so much that when there's a worship, they lock the door. 
Now, because if you are, if you think that you don't respect God's presence to come to church, then stay out with your devil and let's finish our worship. No, oh, yeah, they lock the door, and after worship, you can come in. And God is blessing those those churches. Hallelujah to Jesus. Yeah. Huh. The presence of God is critical to your spiritual life. Listen to it. Why did coronavirus came? It's in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. I'm going to show you. Why? One of the, one of the reasons why the devil brought coronavirus. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse number 20, 25. Verse number. What is that? Hebrews chapter 12. Not forsaking the assemblies of his gathering. Huh? Hebrews chapter 10. You can't get, or is it verse 2? Yeah. 25. So, what, what was the problem here? Why has he come here and he has moved from the place? Then Konya has started. You see all of them group on one computer, like 10 people. Then they are making the rituals. Not forsaking the assembly, assembling of ourselves together not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together uh, as manner of some is so the name in the spirit is not coronavirus it's anti-church virus there are a lot of viruses that has come but this is the one that stop you from coming to church don't go to church wow and paul said that don't forsake the assemblies of your garden. So stop making Facebook your church. They are not listening to me. Oh. I'm preaching. Can I tell you this? Thank God. As I'm preaching, I have some, that is why sometimes I carry the gospel to America. That's why sometimes I go to Britain. That is why there are other pastors there. Amen. Hear this. Hear this. If you have lived for the next four years and you have never gone to church, you are becoming weak. We cannot tell what the devil will knock you out of the system. Because in the presence of God, your strength is renewed. Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, not forsaking the assemblies of yourselves together. Don't do that. Don't stop assembly. Why? Because when we gather, he said, we have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of God. In the spiritual, we have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. The meaning of our gathering is different from the meaning in the spirit. You are not in Jubilee Tabernacle, you are in Zion. You are not in Jubilee Tabernacle, you have come to the city of God. You are not here, you are worshipping with innumerable company of angels. So, they strengthen your, oh, 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 oh. They, they strengthen the weak, they empower the feeble, they heal sickness, they release wisdom, and they help you to make the right decisions. promise you those who don't come to church constantly will definitely pick a wrong partner yeah. and tell you see a secret no it's possible yeah yeah you know it something about god's presence don't don't become a hit and run church member You come once and then you will be a man. Guess you remember hit and run? There was a boyfriend you have. He chased you out. Encounter you once and you can't find him again. If you say, Ami, I know that you are faithful. I will tell you the truth. Amen. They are there. They are there. They are there. <laughs> they are there. They are there. God was trying to give me the definitions for a man's mindset for sex different from a woman yeah? a man can travel and drive from upper west to takradi and sleep with a girl once and drop her when we start family life i'll, I'll tell you when we say because you don't come to god's presence your foolishness is increasing because it's only in the presence of god that you generate wisdom my son, attend to my word. Incline your ear to my saying. Huh? Proverbs chapter 4. Solomon says, his mother told him, listen to the wisdom uh -huh. of God. Uh -huh. 
in the presence of God, you can discern that this guy is not correct. It is easy. No matter how he fake it, your spirit will pick it. There is something. Nobody can fix spiritual things to the end. There is something you you send because the target is to sleep with you. Even though he's speaking into one day, you hold something he's not supposed to. Be. Why are you quiet? I was expecting some noise. Last week when there was a lot of you were saying, Oh, so Benya, prophet, prophet. I'm here. No, in the presence of God. In the presence of God. Some guys have dropped very good, wonderful wives. And another has picked them and they are prospering. Because without the presence, you cannot see the treasures God has put in the one he has given you. You can see it. You will be blind outside the presence of God. Forsake all the assemblies of your gathering. So when we come to church, like there's a lot of things happening in the spirit. That is the reason you are living a healthy life. That is the reason you don't go to hospital. That is the reason why a whole year you have never swallowed a tablet. That is the reason why the sickness that kill others, you survive it. Because in Zion, your weakness will die. What enters you determines what exits you. I can preach that message very deeply. What enters you determines what exits you. Be careful what enters you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I'll do a woman conference and I'll preach with the woman alone and I'll explain to them. For second assemblies of gathering. Make sure you come to church. Make sure we are anointing service you come. Don't walk around thinking that it's useless. When I take the oil and, I, and lay my hands on you, something happens in the spirit. Something yeah, yeah, yeah. BBC It is a reason why you are still surviving. A bayfone, a, a, a friend is saying, a, a sword, a, what do we call it? Arrows, arrows, a kind of say, a kind of tree, say, huh? He say, help me. Huh? A giant, a bayfone giant, you have to about so. You have to go to the baby. It's only the present. Look at what the presence does. When the enemy comes in like a flower, the presence just lifts the standard and says, Stop you. Shout presence. This one, is for, this one is for all the women. The presence of God beautifies you. <laughs> And the presence in the mass, Sarah was 70 years. But he was in competition with 25 years old girls. When Sarah stepped into Egypt, and, Abime, and the Abimelech and the Egyptian king took her, where were the young girls? One lady, a foreigner, went to a country, and his beauty sat down all the ladies in the country. And he, he is the mother of nations. This is a woman that cooked for angels. One of my utmost mentors, Papa Deboye, was 80. Was he? Eight years. And somebody took a picture of his age and somebody was 64. How many of you walked that picture? It was very sad. Then I look at it and say, wow, this is what the presence of God can do. A man at 80 that looks like. Yeah. When we're in prison, there was a guy who came and said I was his classmate at class one. He looked like and uh, he gave birth to me. What did you say? He looked like your grandfather. Yeah. Maybe he's to the guy looked very old. Me, I don't remember my classmate in class one. He said, Oh, damn boy school. I was his classmate. He remembered me. Me, I don't remember him. I don't remember. Yeah. Presence. Presence. Yeah. I am 50 plus last Friday yeah. I stood on my feet for almost 7 hours ah. and went there and prayed, slept for 2 hours and prayed and did one thing and meet some people and meetings and then came back to the studio yeah. and left there now listen don't forsake the presence that glory that comes upon you when you are sinking when you depart it to be lifted 
be free so. A few so people worry about my body. You will not know the benefit of what you are enjoying until you get there. Yeah, yeah. there are some of your friends and they wish they are still back. Yeah. There's something about the devil. If he plug you out, he doesn't want you to come back. Yes. Wow. Stay in the presence. Stay in the presence. <laughs> Prosper in the presence. Your focus will be corrected. For second on the assemblies of your gathering. Huh? God may delay, but you will never deny. Yeah. Yeah. All the Christians are clapping for Jesus. Wow. <laughs> 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 Write this one that the presence of God will bring repentance. Is it a good one? <laughs> Huh? God's presence brings conviction. When you go to the presence of God brings what? Repentance. Somebody say repentance. Ah, 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 ah. Huh? 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 The moment the presence of God enters Nineveh and Jonah cry, carry the prophetic presence, the people cry and say, What shall we do? And they repented. That is why. I am extremely worried about the way you keep coming to the presence but you are not changing. If you don't change in his presence, where will you change? If your heart is hardened in his presence, then your heart has moved from stone to metal. It brings conviction. When the presence of God comes, you'll be convicted. I've seen couples that are fighting, but after preaching, one of them goes, and honey, I'm sorry. Conviction. I've seen women that vow that there is no need for me to submit to this guy with the way he's behaving. But after the word of God comes, they still bow down. Even when they are fought, they will still say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know there were women who were resisting their husband's sex, but after my preaching, can some men testify of what I'm talking about? But now you don't struggle to have access. Yeah, they say they, they flow. Because the woman learned it in the presence. Yeah, it's very important. But there are some women who are sitting tense. They have not changed. They are just looking at me. Apriki, apriki, obe preach, preach, I'm Sandra. Keep staying there. Conviction. Some of the young daughters here be convinced that I must marry as a virgin. Conviction. Conviction. Whether school or nothing, nobody must change. You must not get to school and somebody look at you as a girl and say you are a boy. No. You are a fool. You must not be a boy and somebody look at you and say you are a girl. And then you start walking like that. You are not. No. I don't know if you know. No. No. We have already told you who you are. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So, oh no, 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 no. Don't stop me from preaching. We have already told you who you are. Nobody must convince you and tell you who you are not. We have told you that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Stay there. The teenagers, 40 years, 50 years, 20 years, go to school, finish your school, marry as a virgin. Stay in the present. Don't spend time in WhatsApp and YouTube. Don't waste your life destiny. Steady. Read your Bible. The Bible will make a young person become wise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a factory for wisdom. You see all these guys, all of you that come here, all those guys standing there, all of you come. One, two, three, all of you come here. Come, come here. Run. When I say come, run. Yeah, this one. Line up here. Yeah, line up here. All of you are people's future husbands. Listen to me very carefully. Study the Bible. Read the Bible. Don't be a burden on somebody's daughter. Are you getting it? Steady, read, do your course, play your keyboard, do the but steady. It is what has brought me here. The word. The word. Yeah. I am a listen. 
if anybody tell you that following Christ is a failure, look at your father. This boy here, I'm a blessed man. I have followed God with all my heart. Seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness first. And all the things others are dying for will die for you. Which is, don't just live your life like you are trying to pursue a vision. Just live your life. As you are growing, plan that one day I will get married. And when I marry, my marriage should be the best in my family. Amen. Yeah, and you can only do that by studying the word. You read the word of God. And when you read, practice it. All of you are nice guys. But your niceness does not guarantee a bright future. Your bright future is in authority of God's word. Say that. It is the word. It is the word. That has let me live with one woman and I don't get attracted. I see pastors who commit adultery. The word of God is inside me. No. If it should tempt me, I will not be tempted. No. I have left that stage. I have left that stage. A, a, a dead man does not have feeling. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet you know I but Christ lived in me. Because, oh, I... <laughs> I am crucified with Christ. You are too much alive in the world. That is why you are living in sin. Died in Christ. A dead man does not have feeling. I don't have feeling towards anybody. I don't. Hallelujah. I am dead in Christ. No. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet you know I but Christ that lived in me. The life now I live. I live by the faith of the Son of God who died for me and gave his life. That's what I mean. No. No. When I finished marriage, I told God that let me see women as trees. Yeah, he prayed that prayer because Jesus healed a man and asked him, What do you see? I see men like trees. I stood on that scripture and I prayed. That prayer is still working. Amen. No, so no matter how you dress, Baoba tree. This one is Odum, this one is Wawa, this one is, uh, uh, this one is Cassava tree, all the trees. I don't care, your husband can be angry, but that is my point. Do you know why you are committing adultery? After you marry, you wanted to see women like women. Yeah. And so you are living in sin. And we are inviting demons. I'm living very sound. It's a sound life. No. I am not having a second thought that if the trumpet sound, I'll mix heaven. No. And let me tell you something. If you mix heaven, you can't mix hell. Yeah. Nobody mixes heaven and go to a new trap. When you mix hell, you can't mix heaven. Once you mix hell, you're on your way to heaven. Once you mix heaven, you're on your way to hell. <laughs> this is the bottom line. Um, zip your point. <laughs> sure? The Lord showed me we are coming to the place. Eh? Some of you that are working and God has blessed you. Women will come to your office and naked themselves. They are going to get so aggressive that that is where we are going to go into. No. Some of them, they will throw themselves on you. Yeah. They know you have a wife. They don't mind to become your wife friend to befriend you. They will become your wife friend to be committing adultery with you. They will come to the house and pretend that like your wife is friend by sleeping with your husband. That's how sophisticated it has become. Because the target is not to take your husband. It's to destroy your home. They are on a mission. Marine spirits. My rain spirits, they have released from the pit of hell. Yeah, they are there. Listen to the scripture I quoted you at, 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 at all night about Jezebel. Is there a lot? Don't deceive yourself to think many people are living in a church body of Christ, they are messing up. The mess in the body of Christ, only Jesus can see it. People are faking it, and they are they, they have the privilege to go to prophets who prophesy to them while they are living in sin. No, no. That is why they found it difficult to come. Somebody sent a politician and he told him that down. So how can they come to her? Oh no, yes, I'm going to phone her. I can't know. We need to solve both drama and drama because oh no no. Until I hear him come answering, they are worried about what they are going to do. They are preaching here hot. I don't see the reason. Hallelujah. No, I saw in my Bible that the road to heaven is very narrow. Is the use of sitting in church uh, and makes heaven. Now, this is an answer story that we are telling. Is that the first time? 
as it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Lord, so shall it be in the days of the Son of God. Remember Lord's wife. Now wait. Why should you remember Lord's wife? He was on his way to heaven and became a pillar of salt. Deliverance by angels. Angels were holding her hand. Angels said, He was so much into Sodom that he was turning to see what is there. I'm teaching. Presence. Stop it. Even if you are not doing it, it will guide you tomorrow. You must stand there. Yes. You must build defense around. Some of them are not just coming around. There was a time people were chasing people and they come with just normal. Life. Today they are mixed it with demonic powers. Demonic power. You remember a guy that said that he met some man. The man said, Let me look at your hand. And the man said some words. And the man said, Remove your dress and have sex with you at the back of a kiosk. Before he came to us, and he came to us that we should pray. You are so prayerless that every enchantment will pick you up. Who can be prophet and say, say, turn your hand and you make enchantment? Kadika It will not happen. It cannot happen. No, it, do you know the witchcraft you have dealt with in this place? People have come here with talisman, they run. Yes, yes. No way. Yes. It is inside. Yes. No darkness can challenge light. Yes. If I say you are dead. And I lay my stomach down three on the third day. If you don't fall down, then God has not sent you. He told me, as you say it, you see it. Nobody, somebody meet at you and chant you and slap with you. You are weak in the spirit. One girl is making kwani kwani around you and you fall into her. You are weak. What did Jesus say about to escape that thing? Pray that you will not enter into temptation. Pray that you will not enter. Pray that you will not enter. Pray that you will not enter. Nobody is exempted. What exempt is your prayerful life? Amen. Everybody can get there. Pray that you will not enter. Pray that you will not enter. Don't take the things I'm teaching you for granted. We are in the very end of the end time. Secure your life. Make peace with your wife and live in harmony. Enjoy your partner. Young boys and girls, don't destroy your destinies. Stay in peace. Live a holy life. The father, your mother has gone to Salim and give you a long rasta that told me you are you are ripe. No, don't deceive yourself. I told you God hates foolish people. No foolish person can stand in the presence of God. It's foolish enough for us to take you to school and we start misbehaving. No, we are trying to give you a future. If you mess with your future, it's your life. Yeah, yeah, that's your life. Psalm five verse five. Jimmy Fonti means genuine. It's in the Bible. Who has a tree Bible here? Who has a tree Bible? Huh? Stand up and read it for me. It says the foolish are not standing in sight. Jimmy Fonti genuine ni muda. Huh? Who has a tree Bible? All of you have become white people. Yeah. You can't even find tree Bibles in church. Yeah. The Bible says the foolish are not stand. I like. You have a tree Bible. Read it and let me hear. Yeah. Huh? Are you getting a picture now? Oh, Jimmy, for it's foolishness to go to school and then you are there. And that, right? when we went to school, also, there are some people they were learning, their legs were in water. Some of them were chewing cola, like Fatima. Some of them were, were, were drinking, some of them were drinking um, um, coffee to come along. There are some people, every time they are walking in the girls' dormitory, <laughs> they will learn. They are walking, hey, you pass here, here. Their life is still miserable. Even in church, not everybody can be your friend. Can you Bible? Psalm five verse five. Can you hear? Enum eti enum in chichemu enum. Ko asi ojimi fua. Can you hear? Biye ojimi fua. Jesus biye ojimi fua. Anya day. I ring ina wenim. Ojimi fua ring ina wenim. So a foolish will not stand in God's presence. Among the things God hates is a fool. So we need to be my No. Are it is foolish that you stay in the church and pray and make money and think that because of the money you must chase girls. You you have you you have you have twisted mind. 
and perverted thinking, you are abuse of kingdom prosperity. Rich African men make money little in church. I've seen them in church. You make them dickens and no more committing adultery. Money, sex, and power. This is the struggle of man. Money, sex, and power. No problem with the power. When they get the power, they get the money. The next thing they look for is the woman. And you also put yourself in position that I can look for you. <laughs> no, listen. It is foolishness for you as a young girl to follow somebody's husband. Mm. Yes. It's a wrong seed. Yes. There's a principle in the Bible that whatever you sow, you reap. Yes. So there are things you have done is waiting for you in the future. Yes. Unless grace and mercy take over. you just want money quick you want to drive a nice golf car and there you are following the man you go to church pretend they like you call the woman mommy mommy but you are sleeping with his husband who you jimmy for i won't join your money oh jimmy for in general you have sown the wrong seed so when people are going through things, we should ask, is it attack or they are reaping? Yeah. There are things happening to people, it's not attack, they are reaping. Hey. Okay. Okay. Stay away from those things. In my lifetime of preaching bearing power, I saw somebody sleeping with his pastor's wife. Some of you are in the church. I pick him the person, somebody is sleeping with his pastor's wife. He comes to church. Name pray and soft for you. Now, Bonnie will bring some call. If you go to her and say that, will reject you. There are people in hell will not accept them. Bro, some said, I want you to soft for you. I mean, also about how you come Now, listen, there are pastors in the Bible like Abraham. People take their wife legally, God intervene. What about your illegal one? Find that scripture for me. He that sleeps is another man's wife will not be innocent. Proverbs, find it for me. So for be here, I won't tell that. My catch on my missus will be yeah. Well, maybe we are self person with you in China. I'm on that. There are women because sex is a covenant. If you want to live long, don't sleep with those women. Don't sleep with a woman who is pregnant. The pregnancy is not for you. Don't sleep with your sister. Don't sleep with another man's wife. Messi need to read down a two block now. Then the irish said, "Dem ada." All this focus can be corrected so that he goes into his neighbor's wife. Huh? Huh? Come, come. Let's read from verse number twenty-five. Watch this. Verse number twenty-five. Last not after her. Come to verse twenty. Ten years. Ten, 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 ten. In the presence of God, my son, keep thy father's commandment. Papa na bobra bedu bebi no di a a tu ni banefu. Me ya papa e wo fiha. Me tu ufu se ma Kenya mi asema chekakra. I have seen people come to me to tell me stories. You cannot be on the wrong road. No matter how you are speeding, you won't get to your destination. Nobody had to us from when I expect to get to Cape Coast. It's not there. No matter the fact that you are spirit does not mean you are on your wrong path. Now he said, My son, keep thy father's command and forsake not the law of thy mother. Ten years, ten, huh? bind them continually upon your heart. All the young people listen to the things I'm preaching. We are in a perilous time. Men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, boasters, blasphemous. Men shall be lovers of their own self. Instead of loving God, you love yourself. Buy them continue upon your heart and, and tie them upon thy neck. If you follow the things I'm preaching seven years' time, you'll be a household name. Yeah. You will be the standard in your father's house. Everybody will say, I want eh, eh? people look at you and say, One of baby, I walk on one of my cousins, be long distant cousins, say God has called him. 
They asked him that it's your calling like Nana's own. Yeah. His mother said, Oh, the son and I said, Nana. Said this and I said, that compared to you. So you become a standard. There is a way you lift up your life. Eh? Then you become, oh, Jesus, they are not listening. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, so there is something about the word of God. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee into what thou be born who bind. What thou in your mind, some of the it shall keep thee, and when thou wake, when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. Oh, sorry, depending on me, I say no kasa. Remember, you are the look at where he's taking you. For the commandment is a lamp, ten ye, and the law is a light. The commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light. A reproof of instruction are the way of life. How many of you are thankful the way I preach to you here? Good. If you are not thanking God, I'm preaching it to keep thee from an evil woman. So Bible says, you will maybe name you as your army a evil. There are women walking around, eh? They are sitting in the offices, they are in the society, they can even come to church. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Go to the go to the go come back and go to the New Living Translation. For me, New Living Translation. Ten years. It will keep you from the immoral woman. You see, the King James used strong words because they were limited words of English. Now, the modern English, so it's not just evil. Are you getting it? Somebody can be committing fornication, but it's not necessarily evil. So the right word is immoral. A Jamaini. It's not satisfied. Immoral woman. There are also immoral men. From the smooth tongue of promiscuous woman. Don't laugh at her beauty. Don't, so, so for all those immoral women, Satan has made sure that they are beautiful. And a down. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say, say, man, they are shining, they are attractive, they catch attention. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going no, I could have a word that she can repair car. The only reason why your car hit somebody is that you were watching, they were watching you. Don't last after her beauty. Don't let her coy glance, huh? her coy glance seduce you. So, eh, Robert, so when you anoint her, and sure bear name for a long time. Who she acquired a bar? Now, only need your baby, no more kasa. Now say, who oh, oh, say when you might have fiance, I'll cry on the cruise, tempted. <laughs> Francis, why so I'm from any now, you couldn't. The Bible said that the, 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 the Bible said, let a quiet glance, uh, glancing seduce you. So women are naturally and born seductive. The only thing that can suppress this is Christ. <laughs> if Christ is not there, forget it. About who? Hmm. Sure. Among the things God created, the most dangerous one is woman. Let me use the word dangerous. Omu wo to me, Dr. Kensel. And ma wo to me. To me, and I made the man on in a cup and grant to me. Now, women contend with God and we. Woman. One day I asked the Lord a question in the waiting. I said, Why did you give them that power? I pray a wrong prayer for almost 20 years. I pray, Lord bless, Lord protect the presidents, Lord let the president rule where the Lord say you are making a mistake. Pray for their wife. Sha. Oh, him and What are you talking about? Me tell you, I'm sorry. Some minister told me, I met him in the program. I asked him, a former minister, Minka, Minka regime, in fact, a Kufu regime. That is your problem. And, and I said, Champo, okay, a free far. So, which one? Choose one for yourself, Castle. He said, The president's wife was coming to the castle at Osu. She was sitting down, those that are in a form, but he, he, he didn't wake up. Everybody stood up. The woman passed and came back and said, Did you see me? So uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you, but I'm sorry. I mean, I saw you, but uh, whatever. 
Oh, I see. They were still talk, sitting down talking. <laughs> Said, no problem. Then, other friends was that, you didn't see that man? He said, what is it? I, I, I mean, we all stand up to greet, but, I mean, culture was a member of your money, they don't see the reason why they should stand for a woman and stuff like that. That thing happened 10 o'clock in the morning by 5. They say presidential racial. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ministerial racial. No, that's the correct one. Ministerial racial. Yeah, but since a minister, yeah, they move one from interior to this. Do a, this particular portfolio re, go on uh, immediate leave. <laughs> you yeah, move on straight. You yeah, move on because the man go leave. After the leave, they will be about back to the portfolio. That's what it is. One woman. Yeah. Don't hate your chief executive wife in the name of you love his husband. A man will to me. Don't hate your pastor's wife expecting the man to pray for you. People are living, they are not smart. No, I can't hate anybody that can help me, his wife. It's not possible. A man will to me. Look at it. Don't last after her beauty. Don't let her quite glance, her quite glance seduce you. Go down, go down. For a prostitute will bring you to poverty. And you are what you are. Oh, sorry, I know what you can't quite the muda. We be di here, fit, 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 and now we are never fit. I be about to Now by the time we be do koko no, you see what we. So when you saw what any prostitute will be a da. And then you mre ye nyina ebe ba fa ifa duwa tu. O ba ha o ye no fasra wo nyina na da transfer so na twen me. Me ba ma be ye ho adwuma. Me bo deliverance why if you. Let me ask you. Also I'm a prophet too. When I preach like this eh, you may think I'm just saying something. I'm prophesying to somebody. Be careful. The Bible said, and the scriptures cannot be broken. For a prostitute will break. Some of them are not prostitutes standing by the roadside. They are in a church, but they can be friends three men. There are girls in church. They have a one somewhere. They have a sugar daddy somewhere. They are one in the office and they can never crash. They are experts in that thing. No. They know how to sleep with people's husband and come to church and pray like they are holy. The way they will do, you, you, you need discernment to pick that they are not living right. They form all the accolade. They, they will be there. When they are praying, they are there. Are you, are you, are you? And they are there. They are singing in the choir. They sing and kneel down and cry. But oh boy. Oh boy. A lot of people don't have discernment, they are walking around. No, they are there. The Bible said, For a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. So far, I'm not the one saying it. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. Bible said, Sleeping with somebody's wife will cost you your life. Your life will be your life. Good word. I am you You can go home. It's not too late. You can go home. No, so everywhere you go, you can. Some people have gone to church for twenty years. They've told them a nasty story that they are going to hell. They've told them a nasty story they are going to hell. One day a man came to me and said, if I didn't come to your ministry, I didn't know that I don't trust life is a sin. How many years have you been here? I've been in this church for 22 years. I'm a decade. Charismatic church. Seven point to prosperity. Eight point to make it. And it's a motivation. And people are living immoral life. They are just in the church sleeping with another. Today, people in a charismatic church are divorcing their wife and marrying from the same church. No concrete reason for the divorce. You can divorce a woman. The Bible says if you commit adultery. Maybe he's beating you to the extent that your wife is a threat. But you can't wake up and divorce a man because he's snow. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. The Bible said, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you. 
When the Bible says to cost your life, to cost your life, into no be, so we no be here da, and you may present your body. This is a night of deliverance. Amen. I'm going to engage the blood now. Oh, now so we done be be no da. Present yourself for deliverance. You cannot sleep well. You are very lustful. Present yourself. You are becoming addicted to a hook. You are hook. You are a woman. Masturbation. Present yourself for deliverance. It will affect your state of mind. Pornography. Present yourself for deliverance. Let's command the demons to leave you. You don't enjoy conversation with your husband, but you're always on the phone testing your former boyfriends. The devil has set you up. He has set you up for destruction. You were starting a crack, crabby once you have a baby. You destroy yourself. Yeah. Every woman who is married and still communicating with his former boyfriend, huh, is immature. He's a disgrace to the kingdom and he has set himself for destruction. Is that correct? Every man here who is still conversing with your former girlfriend and testing each other and you have stored his name in a way your wife will not see. Yeah. Look at the way you have stored your girlfriend's name, Coco Seller. And I said, I don't know what I'm saying. 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 What kinds of things? People are living in deception. Not all the content on your phone are right. God is not mock. Don't sow a bad seed. We serve a God who neither slumber nor sleep. Righteousness exalt. Righteousness exalt. Sin is a reproach. Don't engage yourself in all kinds of things. Walk in it. Hallelujah. It's so easy. I'm not saying, eh, you don't understand. Oh, you are sitting there. You, your wife is around you, so you are preaching anything. Those of us who are single, I'm not the one who make you single. I used to be single. I stayed single for years before I got married. Pure. Serving God. Channel your single who to serve God. Period. You will know, your attention will not. If Adam and Eve ate all the food, they will not have appetite for the fruit of evil. They will not have appetite for God. Say you can eat of all the fruit. Don't touch this one. If they were satisfied themselves with the other fruit that they were permitted to eat, nobody gets satisfied at home and get to people's house and start picking chicken. Oh me and me. In the presence of God, your focus will be corrupted. Will be corrected. In the presence of God, sorry, your focus will be corrected. If you don't spend time with your wife, you spend time with another woman. You have to be very spiritual. And are you that is talking like that? Do you spend more time with your wife? Even if I'm not spending time with my wife, I'm spending time in the presence of God. My life is more into God's presence. God's presence. Who? Everything around my life is surrounded by God's presence. No. No sound will be played in my house. You can't play a certain sound in my car. You can't make a certain sound. My prayer room is where I spend more time with God. I spend time praying. I spend time studying. I spend time listening to God. Ah! God was blessing me and I said that I have to... A, 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 a house I was building. I'm building a place I call thinking room. It is going to be panel soundproof. And I go there to just meditate. And concentrate. If, if a pit drop down, you must not hear. So that I can pick the voice of God. Ooh. I don't like all kinds of things. Hallelujah. What is it? What are you looking for? Is it fun? That people think that you are Akba? Or people think that was she? And that people think that you are, oh, you, you are a special man? That you have a beautiful wife at home? And you are going to take this stupid Apuske Leke girl? Walking around and signing checks? You will give money to your girlfriend, you will not give to your wife. What is wrong with us? Taking God for granted. Sitting in church. And then when something strikes us, then we run to God. You think 
this God is a toy that you can toy around. Whoa, be careful. Be careful. Position yourself for God to bless you. Don't run away from the realities of life. This is what it is. Amen. It's going to get worse. It's going to get to the place. Huh? The Bible says, for the prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. Let me quote it, vice versa. Younger sleeping with another woman's husband will make the woman curse you. Next verse. Let me know, Mary. Can a man scoop flame into his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Famiko Kim James answer. Not here. Kim James and I lie the way. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes will not be burned? In two of four, being our fed daddy, I show what I did. Sana Babo Pesochi. One who I call for what the proport in our cause said, Jano. What do I tell them? I call so now they say, I lost some stupid guy. She cooked Banku and hot. Another friend was coming because he didn't want to give the guy Banku. She covered the Banku with his dress. And I didn't burn it at all. Now, don't forget that we okay, I'll see me okay, me okay, okay, and tell me I'm going to. The Bible says, can, can, can a man take fire in his bosom? Now, 10 years, 10 years. A man would do me. I'm going to catch you. Oh, but sorry. Now, so you're going to do me. Now, I'm going to get you down for now. You're closer. I don't have a female friend. I don't need one. I am not your friend. I'm your father. You must learn how to relate to me. I am not your friend. You, you are not my friend, my friend. <laughs> and you cannot be my friend, my friend. Correct the English and write it down. You are not my friend, my friend. <laughs> and you cannot be my friend, my friend. It's simple. This is the first time you are hearing something. Write it down. I say you, you guys, you are not my friend, my friends. You are not. I am your father. Demonic for a daughter to think he can sleep with his father. Yeah. It's high level demon. It's witchcraft. For having that thought is demonic. Yeah. What a day. Papa now do what you chin know. He can give birth to you. Stay away from him. Mamina now open so far and say I'm praying. Obey to my word. Don't sleep with a woman. That is pregnant. That is not for you. Don't sleep with your sister. Don't sleep with another man's wife. Don't sleep with your mother. Don't sleep with a woman who is in menses and is not your wife. Because okay, what are you doing? So what guy? Yes, I will be chain. Who pursue we need cha now with trust as soon as we and your baby and I don't hook on to move in. Will be your be cool to move in. My mini, you'll be here to move in. Catch and some people. Joseph ran away from Potiphar's wife and he became a prime minister. Father, may the way we preach never fall on the ground. May they not just be hearers of the way. May they be doers of the way. This is what one of my daughters told me. I'm ending with this. He was a flight attendant. His first flight. He's a very nice girl. In fact, the time he did that, she was preparing to have his wedding. When he went there, they, they went on the first flight. Everybody say flight. Flight attendant. Is that how they call them? They are flight attendant. I'm almost several, several. Kobe, Kobe, and Kobe, and Achomo, achomo, achomo. I will play mono. Microphone. So he went there. When he got there, he went to the counter because all the flight attendant there, plus the captain, they come as a group. So those of you travel, some of them come to Krabak, come to Krabak. Now I'm going to say some of them are not going to see Bisa. No more now. Microphone. As if they they are going to heaven. Then they are there. Now when they go there, all the flight. If you say KLM or passing or Passing over the Mongo baby, I need to tell my wife to go to him. I say, "Mukono, Hallelujah." But you are talking about the one uh, British Airways and those things. When they go to Britain, it's not permitted for a pilot to fly to London and come back with a plane. The moment you land, you have to go and sleep. Expected to sleep. 
when we are flying long flight that's one one day we were flying from dubai to us about 15 hours they told me there were about four pilots so we both said baby i want if it's first car they reserve some seat if this one fly like seven hours then they come to sleep another pilot take over because they don't want them to sleep to cause a problem because i'm in the plane if you are there if i'm there god have to protect himself and i hear this the girl told me that when they got there that was his first flight she got there and then uh, he did some flight that was a tenor i think that flight you don't sleep you just go you come back there are some flights like the, those who fly passing in africa africa world and whatever when they go to kumasi almost see free plane cry because we'll be in biama to the plane and now other passengers but for no about but coffee that's all that's what the guy said he took his key from the hotel eh? when he, he opened the door the captain was lying on the bed it means that they check her on the captain in the same room by the captain's order excuse me sir i think they made a mistake no they are not making a mistake come me and you supposed to be here say what say no follow up on talking do you like to keep your job then just change yourself and sleep and he said i don't want to keep my job When we say collaborating, you'll be a money sir. What you say? What you say? You pay a bomb, you say Young girls, come on. When you are tested, will you pass the test? There are some. If that is what they did to the girl, things that they've been doing it. Did you remember one of your friend? One of your friend, your classmate. He said he will stop that job. You told me. One of mommy's classmates, he used to go to a flight. I said, Jaya Jumano. Because I catch you, I said, Mommy, eh, Jumano, you grow dear, grow. I want to say, You come and lie by your husband with guilt. Udi Akura. There are men out there, they behave like dogs. Stay away from them. And listen, when it comes to choosing Christ and Job, choose Christ. <laughs> Jesus will defend you. Stand to your feet. Yeah. One day, me and mommy was traveling to Dubai. Doctor, when we got there, our seat has been displaced. Me said, I'm going to Two guests be on my be big, quick, quick, quick. And there were two men, Papa Penny Four. How many you see? How they were so close, I'm going to grab a young chip enemy. Oh, maybe Mr. Pell's age, and maybe a little older than himself. And a small, small girls. Something come on, and I, I have to go back and write my final exam. But me, I know what to tell the professor. You do plain mom, you say, How many papa phone? Papa phone you to get near two. Send me sitting on the sun, back off away seat, back off away seat. First class, I'm a two, I'm a two, a demon, and near me, near near Kosovo. We started to talk. And the one of the friends, hey, prof, it's good to see you. But it's always as a, Oh, you're there, oh, you're there, prof, or you're a prophet. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Uh, 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 uh. The, the, what 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 shocked me was the age of the men and the age of the girls. I prayed the prayer Stephen prayed. Don't count this sin against them. I was there with mommy. Okay? Yes, and the God told me the fear of God must be taught. Don't assume that your children will naturally walk in the fear of God. You must teach them the fear of God. And that is what I'm teaching you now. The fact that you are second degree holder, that's not me you fear God. The fact that you are master degree, that's not me you fear God. The fact that you have your doctor, that's not me you fear God. The fear of God must be taught from the biblical point of view. All things are permissible, not all of them are beneficial. Now, listen to me. 
even, 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 freedom must go with responsibility. It means that, so our boarding house, now say, you catch yourself that six o'clock, solid this time. Now you move to invest where there is no restriction. It doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. Freedom must go with responsibility. Nobody is checking me, but I must be the watchman of myself. Ah, <laughs> Lift up your two hands. I've, I've, I've preached too long. Because there's a passion in my spirit. And you may come to the presence of God. I'm going to preach to you what the anointing must do in defense of the generation where we live. Where arrows are flying. Wickedness. Dr. Cranston will tell me, every time he's in a theater, I was, I was, I was, I remember I was in maritime. I was in maritime. I think, was it the beginning of this year or something? Eh? And when I went there, they were talking. No, they didn't know. No. I heard one of the doctors say that I need Dr. Cranston for this one. I really need Dr. Cranston for this one. I need it. Oh, no. I'm on that. Young, young people, why are they not sleeping? And they are so busy. Sometimes you tell me, say, Prof, I was in theater till 2 a.m. Bonina do 5 a.m. Bonina do so. And the arena do so. Church, Easter, in the house of God. People don't want to live a holy life. Now say, hey, yeah, but crunk crap about the Yasifonia day. That is why Christianity is not attractive. It's not attractive. It's not attractive. If you're a chorister, you are sleeping with your boss. What makes you feel you should come to church? Come and do what? No, they see us as funny people. Yeah. Then you are hypocrites. Because why are you What Saturday? Fita fita. And the laser too come. I boss. I I I I togo togo chain. I be jira se. Emma wo be tonyo. But the thing is, are you a crunk crunk girl? And we are shame. We chain down come here. I'm afraid. Let's, if you say we are Christian, let's be Christians. Let's serve God. Let's serve God. Stay with your wife. All the people in the office must know that you love your wife. I'm telling you. I remember when mommy used to work in the bank. Every time I meet his boss, also I said, hey, that's your wife. The moment you close, crazy is on his way. End of your party, uncle. Uncle be that. Uncle be that. I said, uncle, one day I said, see, me now for fun about pictures, somebody to try in your mouth, who are on me, uncle. Who is a Christian on the end of your party? Who is a who crack give me, so I cross you on 90 cents? Picture you go phone, so, after church, so I'm like, man, it's better to be a fool. Let me watch all the pictures on the phone, let me see. And I will use that to determine whether you must remain in the choir or I must excommunicate. Who crack, who crack, who take him, who do trap give his boat to another? Who are not saying straw, who can say me? No, one what, 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 what minute he say, Gunna. <laughs> so, what do I know? Check in his back one over to Nasa. We are not being to have a fill my cup, I left Guinness in Kwan. Musra be a nymph. Today, our musician, they will sing one so you can't hear of them again. A German Sam. German Sam. No, no, that they call it industry. It's not industry, it's ministry. I cannot call this an industry. This is a ministry. Right. Mm. I can't make it a ministry, an industry mindset. It's not an industrial mindset. It's a ministry mindset. It's a calling. Freely you have received, freely give. If you show good things in Allah, they are blessed, they will bring you blessings. Yes. Don't charge them. Why is the people over there not clapping? Is somebody, something going on over there? What? For what? You don't want us to preach it. You want us to come here and just come by you and tell you seven points to make it happen. In the presence of God, anything you do, just make sure grace has covered it. It's a wungwa. Grace has covered what? The people who wrote the grace, they say, shall we continue in seeing that grace will abound? Paul knew that people will continue and hide it behind grace. Why you find your media grow? I'm telling you, there's a, there is a, I'm on one of the things that is dangerous is a consuming fire. Don't only go know him. You don't have to know Jesus as a lamb. He's also a lion. Which side do you want to see? Amen. Huh? 
and Sanum Jai, Master, and Sanum Yanumbium, Jamaya Mobium. I hope that you are not just singing it. I pray that you are practicing. No, nobody must caught with you and sleep with you every day. No, there is a place who kata ketesiano, what kata would you see? Huh? O kata, the word aketesiano, it comes from Enfanticasa. Aketesiano, Obi a wakata, no, who not in who is see. Why is there mining company? Into a reputable mining company will come and buy the concession. No, I dig in a way ye gold in a free assassinus. Or to walk a honey moon. Obeba no be on sacket, I cut a home de see. My being be a warrior. I won't win your sum jay, a rusumun yame. Nami, I have a drum, mamma, my friend. A ring. This generation doesn't want to work. Quick money. People are dying. Change obituaries. 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. What is it? These are not things we see in Ghana. First of all, Ghana is very young. Young, 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 young people. Young, 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 young people. Young people. Am I telling the truth or I'm not telling the truth? Incredible. It will not happen in this family. Yeah. May the Lord preserve this family. May the Lord keep this family. Mama, I don't want to say that. 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 Okay. I don't want to say that. 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 Test what I say, huh? Oh, him out as here. Oh, bro, what I say? Mumma Mukunu Mundidi. I'm not near son, Cocono. Yeah, the size and yes, I agree. No, be she. You must have a brother, 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 I, 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 how do you people think? Is this a good advice? Yeah. Very good advice. advice. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. Because African women, no, your culture, no, uh -huh. yeah, some way. Your culture, no, you are here overhauling. If you are here, I say, you call a mechanic shop. Now you have two VW engine, now you have a piston, you have a year overhauling. So what I say? Some of our mindset is not correct. The African mindset that it's only a man that must come to a woman. No, if the Muhammad don't go to the man, the man thing must come to Muhammad. It, it, it's not biblical, but it's a statement. So what I say? Yeah, it's very important. Yeah, Mar yeah this time marriage conference, I have serious message. If I your message, I'm a preacher. I'm coffee. I'm the higher. But it's what I saw them. I can't show someone to me, but I'm trying to hide. No, I'm a serious way. I mean, the, the kind of message God has put in us is dangerous. It will turn, it will revolutionize Jimmy Seminole. Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, it's too much. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. When the Lord told me, study my word, I did. Some young prophet visited me in the house. Mommy cooked for them. Young men of God. And then when we they finish eating, they ask me a question. They say, Papa, we used to follow you from Bedin Power. We're young people. You know, Bedin Power now is Shen Kompa. Then the transition, you started preaching. And I'm telling you, your preaching has changed lives. Yes. But he said, we were thinking that the transition of the way you shifted. He said, you're still professor, but now you preach because Bedin Power, you were not preaching that kind of revelation. And I told them, that is why I gave you the way Jesus said, follow me. Now listen. It is dangerous for God to leave a place. Huh? Because some people are living in a past glory. God told me, I am going to migrate from the prophetic to the apostolic. That will be the last restoration before my second coming. It means a time is coming. Your prophecy is not what the people need. Now, if you are a prophet and you are looking for people face to face to prophesy, at coronavirus, what will happen? That is why there are some people you never heard their name again.
But during the lockdown, I can sit in the auditorium and preach to pews and you are in your room and you are picking it. I don't need to prophesy. Because we are migrating from the apostolic, from the prophetic to the apostolic. That will be the last restoration. And then Jesus Christ will come. With God. So this time, it's word, prayer, and holiness. Yeah. Once a while, if need be, then God release the prophetic word. But now it's not the emphasis. The emphasis is in the power of his word. This is it. Word, prayer, and holiness. So the conqueror is starting. Now the Mbabone Jirim and the prayer is based on the authority of God's word. Charlie, you'll be a high flyer. Amen. Everything will work. The marriage will work. The business will work. The children will do well. Everything will work. Combine the strength. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your two hands. Amen. Are you blessed? Are you sure you are blessed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, sometimes we have to go this way. We have to come this way and tell you the truth. And teach you the mind of God. Wow. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and things are getting better. You are changing. Yeah. Your life, your, your life is an example. It's a book. Now people are admiring you from afar. They look at you. They wish they are like you. Keep walking in the path where God wants you to walk. You will mentor people from a distance. That's a blessing. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. Father, grace to practice your way. Open your mouth. Grace to practice your word. Grace to practice your word. Whilst we are doing that, lift up your